Hi and welcome, this is Neil Selvage from Neil Selvage Training, Development and Assessment and I just want to give you an insight into uh, the training passport which I've put in place. This supports learners that are new to our industry that have um, kind of, they've got work experience on site possibly through groundworks or screening or other occupations but nothing specifically gas membrane related training. So um, I was getting a lot of learners coming forward asking for training in this sector. So I've put this little presentation to give you an insight of what training I can offer and this is delivered by myself. Um, I'm a qualified teacher trainer, technical trainer, and I'm also a qualified IQA and uh, A1 assessor for this sector as well. So hopefully I've got a good insight to what you need to achieve and how you're going to achieve it. So when we look at it, I can offer the training in well, well, it's three modules basically. Um, the first one is the classroom theory with practical elements. So this gives the learners a good insight into the ground gases, the types of gases, their effects, their differences, because not all gases are the same, um, and also guidance that you have to work to. It's a key part of our industry and um, also the building in, built environment we work in, understanding those uh, parameters as well, especially with ground gas. Also, installation principles, how we're going to do the work. And as you can see there in the picture, my training is very practically minded because that's where our learners will be uh, doing the work on site. But doing it in controlled environments certainly eases people into that uh, you know, frame where they can understand what they need to do, how they do it in a, in a safe environment before we hit site. And we also look at the inspection and the verification and signing off work because that's a key element that falls in this uh, sector of ground gas protection. The second unit of the training is actually the on-site. So this will be conducted on a live site environment, real projects, real membranes going in real properties, houses, uh, industrial units, whatever your project might involve. I will come on site, I will support the learners um, to, to move forward on this so that they understand what we've learned in the classroom, they can put it into practice. Also, the requirements of using drawings, so working to specifications of products and seeing how it all goes together. And as you can see here, we've got a, a, a technician on site doing some pipe detailing. Again, that was learned in the classroom. He's taken that on site. And the key element as well is the on-site health and safety that we're monitoring that that's all in place and being uh, adhered to. So the final unit is really the health and safety. Now, this is more open to previous learning that you might have done through either a CITB um, Site Safety Plus training, you might have done a triple STS, uh, you might have done an SMSTS, um, IOSH, NEBOSH, but anybody, your understanding of health and safety is a key part of being able to achieve the MVQ occupational standards for the level two. So we will build the passport at this point of proving evidence of work that you've done, projects that you've worked on, qualifications, training that you've taken part with. So I will develop that after the, the previous two stages have been completed. We work on the health and safety and the passport at this point. We can develop this through your training record, so evidence there of, of logging jobs, projects that you've worked on. But also I've put up a lot of support through the um, YouTube channel that I've developed with various bite-sized trainings, which uh, learners can dip into. They're about 10, 12 minutes long, but it gives you an insight of what you're expected to achieve. So certainly have a, have a little look at that. This is on the same channel as uh, this presentation is as well. So when it comes down to the costs, well, it's all dependent on, first of all, where you are in the country. Um, as you can see, I've put up my location zones there. So unfortunately, well, you know, people that are further away, I'm based in Birmingham, but I can travel um, and, we have to accommodate that cost and the time frames used to do that. Likewise, individual costs for the learners will be subject to your CITB levy status as well. And it will be um, gauged on how many learners you want to put through because um, bulk numbers doesn't always work in my favor because um, you know quantity, the quality gets lost then sometimes. So concentrating maybe on possibly one or two learners could be more beneficial to you than trying to put you know massive groups through. And I might you know have to question that. I'm not looking for numbers. I'm looking for quality. So please do get in touch with me. Um, here's all my contact details. Um, you can drop me a message through all the usual social media channels. Um, I'm on LinkedIn through the Gas Membrane Installation United Facebook group, uh, emails, please phone, you know, any questions you've got on this and hopefully we'll be able to um, get you moving forward because the next phase is to go into the MVQ Level 2. 
I've got another presentation which I'll link onto this um, inquiry so that you can follow the, uh, the guide to the MVQ level two process. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon on site and uh, get some training underway. All right, thanks very much. Bye now.